Hey guys, Thunder E here, and we are back with another battle vid. Now, this one is between the brand new Sony XB900, which we talk about 250 noise canceling headphones, versus the Jabra Elite 85H that we sold for $299. And we're gonna see how both of them stack up against the reigning king. I'm talking about the Sony Mark III headphones, which we sold for about um, $350. So, let's see how they all handle. <laughs> The noise canceling um, space has changed over the years. We've seen different entries. We've seen um, Bose's stronghold basically crumble at the hands of Sony with the Mark III's. These are great pair of headphones from last year, and we're gonna see how both of these new headphones stack. Now, the first headphone I'm gonna look at is the brand new XB900. Now, the XB range means extra bass, and this is the latest in that line of headphones. I actually showcased a pair of headphones last year that are really bassy, and that's what you get from these line of headphones. So what do the XB900 look like? They look very similar to the Mark III's. They've got a signal feel, feature, but a matte finish, which is really quite interesting. All around has this really interesting matte finish to it, something I'm not a big fan of, but I do like it in some levels and some levels I don't. So I'm, I've got mixed feelings about that. But again, very similar styling to what you get with the uh, Mark III's. The XB900's look and feel the same way. Couple features you find on these headphones, you've got NFC tap to connect on the left ear cup, which is great. On that same left ear cup, you also have your power button. You've got your ANC switch, which will switch you between active noise cancellation, pass through and turning off active noise cancellation. You've got a 3.5 mm jack and you've got a USB type C port, which can give you quick charging, which is nice. Battery life is estimated at 30 hours. Now on your right ear cup, you now have your controls. And again, those controls are very simple and easy to use. You've got the ability to sw uh, slide up or down to increase your volume, swipe left or right to change tracks and tap in the center to pause and play. Very easy and simple to use. And you also have the ability to have a voice pass through by basically just placing your hand over your right ear cup and you can listen to conversations. So if you're on a plane, Sirius is asking you something, you can just actually tap and you will listen. So that's really nice. Now these headphones are really interesting, really soft ear cups. In terms of just comfort and use, they feel really natural on your ears. So when you're listening to music, you can feel and just go with the tunes quite well. Now in terms of weight, they weigh about nine ounces. So they're relatively light, but in comparison, the Mark III's are actually lighter at 8.23 ounces or so. So they're a bit heavier, maybe because of course that extra bass, or I'm not sure why, but uh, they do have a little bit more weight to them than the Mark III's, which I actually found quite interesting. But they're very comfortable headphones to wear. Now let's talk about the audio quality and what you get here. I think audio tuning is really good, sounds really balanced there. You definitely get that bass feel all the way through really, really puts it in. Compared to the Mark III's, the Mark III's do not push out that much bass. Some people say it's a little bit more than what they like. I think the Mark III's a little bit more balanced for me. This pushes out a lot of bass. If you are a bass lover, you will love this because all those tracks tend to hit with a lot of bass. The one thing I do like, it doesn't overpower the track, so your vocals do come in quite well. Uh, your mids and your highs actually come out a bit, but the bass, the bass still is quite powerful. Now, in terms of active noise cancellation, they're really good. I think Sony has got a good, done a good job here. Plus, combined with the Sony app itself, you do have a lot of features built in. So you've got uh, the ability to use the kind of like the AI to, to understand your surroundings. So it lets you, it basically tunes the ANC to where you are. If you're sitting at home or in a quiet area, it drops the levels down. If you're commuting on a train, it might increase that as well. So it depends on your location and that feature works fairly well enough for me. I do like it. I also like the ability to go in and change the direction of the sound within the headphones, something very few manufacturers do. So you can have it basically feel around your head or coming from the far left or far right. So giving you a different feel of how you want to listen to your music and definitely, definitely can use it for different tracks. Plus you can go through the EQs, all that you can find within the app itself. And it's pretty easy to use. In terms of just, like I said, the overall sound quality of these headphones, 
I do like them, but they're very, very basic. Again, I'm not the basic kind of person, so that's just where I put them. But I think they've done a really, really good job. How do they stack up to the Mark III's? Well, the Mark III's, again, are really balanced. You can see that uh, just from the sound signature, all of, a lot of things come in really nice and clean. Now, the, um, the XP900s also come with a cloth bag, uh, USB Type-C cable, and of course a 3.5mm jack, which you can plug in, um, and you've got just really nice drivers. The tuning is really good. Sony does a good job. Again, bass friendly, but really good job in tuning. Now, let's move over to the Jabra Elite 85H. So with the Jabra Elite, you have something that's really different and a really welcome entry from Jabra. Now, Jabra makes some really good headphones, but 85H takes things to a different level for them. First of all, let's look at just the design and feel. It's got this kind of fabric feel all around the headset overall. So in terms of fit and feel, you get this more denim-like look to it, especially with the blue color that I have here. Now, with the headphones themselves, they've got a little bit much more of a tighter fit on the head. When you put them on, uh, they actually open them, it actually turns on and you can place them on your head and you, it tells you the battery percentage and things like that. Similar to the Sony, the Sony's XP900 do the same thing as well. And I, think, I think the fit for these are a little tighter for me, but it's still comfortable enough to wear. Now these are heavier pair headphones compared to the XP900N and the Mark III's, going in at about 10.1 ounces. So a little bit heavier, that's just something to take note for people who are, you know, interested about that. Now in terms of form and function, on your ear cups you've got different functionalities. The right ear cup has all the controls. This is where I've got a little bit mixed feelings about this. The controls are easy to use, but there are a lot of controls on just one area at a time. So the center button uh, there is where you actually uh, press and play. Uh, your top, there's two little top knobs there, the, oh, sorry, the top and bottom knobs. Top knob, of course, is to increase your volume by tapping on it and then to skip forward in track by holding down. Bottom knob does the same thing for reducing volume by tapping on it and then holding down to skip back. So you've got that all built in and mixed in there as well. Then on your right ear cup, you do have your uh, voice assistant button or call answer button. So you can use it for Bixby, sorry. I said big speed, but you can use it actually for Google uh, Assistant or Alexa. And then on the left ear cup, uh, you do have your ANC cycle through. Now, it's also got a really intuitive and in-depth application. It has the same feature where it's got an algorithm that, that tries to figure out where your surroundings are. So when you're using your headphones, it knows that you're walking, you're commuting, and it tries to balance that out well. I think the Sony does a slightly better job at figuring out where I am, and also how to apply the ANC with that too. You can go in and change your EQs, you've got the user manual. Uh, one of the coolest features I do like though is the fact that when you take it off, um, it actually pauses the music. That's something I do not have on the Sony uh, XP900, uh, which I would like to see, but it, you know, it's a nice little feature, so you put it back on, you can actually listen to your music. Now, let's talk about the audio quality, right? Um, they've got a really good job here. I think, that, you know, one of the things I like about this is not as bassy as the XP900, but it does provide some really good sound. So, your highs are good, uh, your, your lows are good, your mids are a little bit off, and that's where I think some people will notice just that there's a, it's kind of like a sound cavity in between, you, you know, where your, 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 your mids and your lows actually hit. Feels like something is missing a little bit there. That's my only caveat with the sound. I do like it sound with production, especially when you're listening to varied amount of tracks. They come out really well, but just that, there's a layer there that feels a little bit missing in its sound with production, which I would like to see improved. That being said, you do have USB Type-C here on these headphones for charging, giving you about 36 hours of charge um, of playback, and then 10 minutes gives you about five hours of playback with these as well. So you do have that. You've got a hard shell case that comes with it, and it comes with a bunch of accessories, USB Type-C cable, uh, airphone, uh, airplane plugs, you know, as well as also, you know, um, uh, 3.5 mm jack cable as well. Now they've got a, like I said, they've got that intuitive app that goes a long way in giving you a lot of things, changing your EQs. I really like the application. It even shows you some of the button placements so that you know how to actually control your headphones. Now, how do they start to the XB900s? 
Now, the XP900s have more base, so if you're base friendly and you want that, XP900s are the way to go. But these do not have as much bass and give you a much more balanced sound. I think the XP900 are also lighter and more comfortable. It doesn't feel a little tight on your head. Now, comparison both, comparing this to the Mark 3s, I think the Mark 3s give you a much more balanced overall sound. Now, when it comes to ANC, the active noise cancellation is really good on these as well. They've done a good job. I think though Sony is still better because it, it, it still blends your music and your ANC cancellation pretty well. I think Jabra has done a good job here and nailed it to a point where uh, maybe just a few tweaking will get us to where we want to overall. That being said though, at the end of the day, I think the, uh, the Mark 3s are still king. But if you're looking for a pair of noise canceling headphones uh, that give you some really nice sound, the Jabra's do a good job at a slightly lesser price. And if you're looking for a pair of headphones that give you a lot of the same audio reproduction as the Mark III's, but kick-ass bass, then the XP900 are the pair for you at just $250. Honestly, you really can't go wrong with any of these, but I think if you're going for an overall pick, the Mark III's are still king. Looking for bass, then the uh, 250's are what you're looking for. And a nice, a happy medium in between, especially with varying colors, is definitely uh, the Jabra right here. So hopefully I helped you guys out with a uh, pair of headphones to pick. Uh, if you're looking for bass, you're looking for something more balanced, you're looking for something in between, there are a couple headphones here and this will help you decide what you're looking for this summer as you jam to your music. So thank you very much guys. If you have any questions or any comments, don't forget to leave them down below. If you have not subscribed to our channel already, smash that subscribe button, hit the notification icon and always enjoy your entertainment. Also, use the links down below if you're looking to pick any of these up.